So how can we use Excel VBA to speed up everyday tasks when we're using spreadsheets? Well, Excel VBA is a programming language and when we think about computer programming, we tend to think about programmers locked in dark rooms who spent years learning the art of coding. But that's not really the case with VBA. If you take a look at some VBA code, you can get a feel for what's going on, even if you've had no experience of coding before. And that's what we're going to try to exploit today because Excel has a very nice facility where it can record code, it can record macros. And that means that whatever we're doing in the spreadsheet, whatever actions we're taking, Excel will translate into Visual Basic code and store it for us so that we can then subsequently review it, tweak it, and then trigger it again to get it working for us. We're gonna take a typical everyday task, uh, duplicating a sheet, so creating a copy for a sheet. We're going to record a macro, have a look at what the code looks like, and then work out how to trigger that macro so that we can duplicate the sheet at a click of a button. That's the idea. Let's get into the spreadsheet. I've just created a simple spreadsheet with some data here. You can have a look at our video on generating random data in Excel if you want to know how to do that quickly. What we're looking to do is to take this DEP1 sheet and just duplicate it, so create a copy. Uh, you probably know how to do that already by right-clicking on the Sheet tab. We bring up this menu, move all copy, and from here we can create a copy by ticking on this box and it all works fairly quick, quickly. So you might be saying, well, that's just a few mouse clicks. You know, I don't mind doing that. But what if you had to do that 20 times? And if you're like me, you'll be fine for the first two or three times. And then once you get up to five or six, you'll be thinking this is taking a, this is taking a long time. So how can we automate this process? Well, I want to draw your attention to the record macro button here which is in the developer tab. If you can't see the developer tab, then you can allow it in Excel options. So go to the record macro button, and we're just going to click it, and then this box comes up. So this means Excel is now recording a macro. So whatever we do, whatever actions we take in Excel, Excel will translate that into code and store it for us so we can see it later. So let's give our macro a name. It's always good to create informative names for macros so that you can un you can understand what it does just by looking at the name of the macro. So today, duplicate sheets is a sensible name. And then hit OK. And now notice if we look in the top left corner, um, the button that was record macro is now stop recording. So that shows us Excel is recording what we're doing. So now let's go through the duplication process. So right click on the DEP1 sheet, move or copy, and then I'm going to move it to the end of the spreadsheet and create a copy and then just hit OK. So we go through the normal process and we can see we have a DEP1 sheet here. So that's all working fine. So now we're going to stop recording. So Excel will stop recording the code and then we want to review it. So where does Excel keep code? In the Visual Basic Editor, uh, I'm going to use the Alt F11 shortcuts to open that or you can just click on the Visual Basic icon here. We're going to open up the modules folder and Excel will create a new module for recorded code. So just click on this. And then you'll notice the name of this routine, the name of this macro is duplicate sheet. And if you remember, that was the name I gave it in the name macro dialog box. So there it is. And what we did, um, we can see, as I said, it's fairly easy to understand Excel VBA. So sheets dep one dot select, we just clicked on DEP1, and then this line of code is the code that actually does the duplication. So sheets step one dot copy after sheets three, okay? So you might get a feel for what that means. Uh, let's just have a quick look at it. So sheets step one dot copy, that means copying the sheets, and then after colon equals sign sheets three. So copying after the third sheet in the workbook. This sheets three, construct is very interesting and useful. This is the worksheet's index number. So there's two ways we can reference uh, worksheets in VBA. We can use the name of the sheet, which will be DEP1, but we can also use the index number, which is useful if we don't want to have to mess about with names and stuff. And here Excel has recorded the index number of the third sheet and has said, put the duplicate after the third sheet in the workbook, okay? So hopefully just by looking at that, you can get a sense uh, for what's going on. So what's next? Well, let's run the code again 
and let's try to understand what's happening. So let's see how many sheets we've got down here at the moment. We've got one, two, three, four sheets. I'm going to just click in the routine and then hit the play button here. And that means Excel is going to run whatever routine you're currently in. So I'm just hitting the play button and we can see Excel has created another sheet. We had four sheets before and now we've got five sheets. So again, just at the click of a button, uh, we've automated that task. We're already uh, saving ourselves quite a lot of time. However, we don't want to have to go into the Visual Basic Editor every time in order to complete this task. So what would be a better way to do it? Let's try putting a button in the spreadsheet and then let's use that button to trigger the macro. So to create a button, again, develop a tab, just go to insert and click this button icon and then hold down the alt key, which will lock the button to the rows and columns in the spreadsheet and make it look tidy. And then Excel is asking us to assign a macro. So it's saying, when you click this button, which macro do you want me to run? And if you've got lots of macros in your spreadsheet, you'll see them all listed here. That's why it's important to give them informative names so you can understand what they do. We're just gonna hit duplicate sheet because that's the macro we've created and okay. And now we've got a button here and our macro is assigned to that button. So when we click that button, uh, the duplicate sheet routine should run. Okay, so let's give it a go. Let's notice how many sheets we've got here. One, two, three, four, five sheets. So if we click this and everything works, then it should duplicate the sheets. And in total, we'll have six sheets because we'll have one more sheet. So just clicking the button and what's happened? Okay, yes, we've created a new sheet. So DEP1 has been duplicated and it's now DEP1 brackets four because we've worked through the process three times. And we have a total of six sheets. So that tells us that it's working. So that's great. So already we've automated the process and at the click of a button, uh, it's working for us. Um, I just wanna draw your attention to one thing. Um, so at the moment, the sheet is being copied after the third sheet in the workbook, yeah? Um, a good habit to develop is playing with the code and then looking at the spreadsheet and trying to understand the consequence. So we are, copying the sheet after the third sheet in the workbook, but let's just try changing this number. Let's just play with it, try changing the number. Let's change that to sheets one. So what's gonna happen there? Well, it should copy the sheet in after the first sheet in the workbook. So let's give that a go. So I'm expecting, expecting the deck one sheet to copy again and to become the second sheet in the workbook. So I'm just gonna hit play and let's see what's happened. Yeah, that seems to have happened. So DEP1 is duplicated again, so it's now DEP15, and it's appeared as the second sheet in the workbook. It appeared as the second sheet in the workbook because it, we've said after sheets one. So that's a good example of playing with code, and you should work through that yourself. Try some different numbers and just try playing with the code and seeing what happens uh, in the spreadsheet. Okay, so that's it for this video. We've taken an everyday task, which is duplicating a sheet, and we've created a macro to do that. We've then had a look at the code, tweaked the code, and assigned it to a button. So now literally, at the click of a button, we've taken a task that takes six or seven mouse clicks and some intricate mouse work and automated it. So it's working at the click of a button, gonna save you a lot of time and energy. But that's not everything. Our next step, is we're going to improve this so that rather than just creating one sheet, we're going to improve it so it can create any number of sheets, three, five, 10 sheets. We're gonna do that by putting a loop into the process. See you in the next video.